And welcome back, True Believers. We are going to talk about drawable assets. So things like icons and pictures in your app. And the main thing we're going to talk about is how to make this as easy as possible on you. So Android Studio has support for PNGs and JPEGs. Uh, and you can get anything you want just by putting it in this drawable folder and then it will detect it and then you can use it in your application. So here, if we, uh, so we're in our directory and if we say, um, copy this JPEG file here and then we go over to the IDE and we start to take a look, give it a second. To refresh to, oh, whoops, <laughs> excuse me. I had this all set up and I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, this is, yeah, demo. Layout toolbar. It's an app source main. Um, res is, uh, Um, oh God, what does REST stand for? Uh, yeah, um, not reserves, um, you know, um, resources. Ugh, God, resources. Okay, so here we are. So now if we uh, copy from the desktop in here, oh my gosh, the ID detects it. And then what is this? Can't see it. Oh my God, it's CAD. What is he doing asleep in our project? Okay, so um, here's the thing. So why do you use PNGs? Why do you use JPEGs? JPEGs are s relatively small in size and they're good at representing photos. J uh, PNGs allow you to have uh, transparent layers. JPEGs don't. So if you want an icon, a PNG is a better choice than a JPEG. Um, there's this format called WebP from Google, which combines the benefits of JPEG and PNG. It um, compresses files very well, and it has a uh, transparent possibility of being transparent. But for most of the stuff that we're going to do in this class, I want to show you a different way of getting a um, what we call a drawable resource. So we go to vector asset and they have these uh, material icons that you actually have access to. And uh, it took me a while to figure this out because what you have to do is click on this icon button and only by clicking on it do you get the choice of icons, which is a little obscure if you ask me. Uh, however, I guess the people didn't. And this, these are UI designers, so I mean, like they couldn't have a button that says like, click here for all icons or anyway. Okay. Ooh, so we can search, um, you know, if you want an arrow, there are different kinds of arrows. You, know, you can look through here. Um, uh, oops, let's get rid of this. And a lot of icons that you'd, you'd be interested in. So, um, you know, I'm interested in a, a menu icon, which is what they call this hamburger thing. It's also called a hamburger. So uh, I want to import a menu, and it's it's telling me that it's importing it at 24 DP, but we're going to see that you can actually resize that. So you can resize it right here, but I'll show you. You can resize it sort of manually. Um, okay, we're going to finish. And here is our icon, and you can see that what this actually consists of is this sort of weird stuff in this XML file. So it's an XML file that says what its height and width is, and then this viewport height and width, and then this thing says like fill color and path data. Okay, so what this is is um, it's directions how to draw this image and because it's given to you as this path, you can scale it up and scale it down. So the path is given in terms of being 24 
uh, dp by 24 dp, but we can actually make this 50 dp by 50 dp. It looks exactly the same here, but if you imported this into a layout and said layout wrap content, it would now be 50 dp big. Okay. Uh, we can leave it at 24, it doesn't matter. You can mess up the aspect ratio. The point is, um, this thing is resizable, and that's hugely important when you want to um, have a single set of um, resources for multiple screen sizes, which is not something we're going to talk a lot about, but you can avoid the whole issue um, of having to resize stuff by um, using these vector uh, assets, which I think only go back to... Uh, I can't remember now. They, they only go back to some, some version, but we're not that interested in backwards compatibility. Here you've got transparency and red, green, blue. So if I do FF, I've turned on the red channel. Uh, if I turn on the green channel, that's yellow. Uh, if I turn this, oh, this is a pukey orange. So it's all sorts of stuff you can do here. I don't know. And, you know, obviously these don't have to be the same number. This is a terrible color. So, okay, whatever. Um, and you can also change the, the color of this uh, using other um, assets. So um, this will allow us to, to get rid of these PNGs, which, uh, you know, then have to be sort of resized um, for your particular use. Like this JPEG is humongous. And uh, as good as it is, if we wanted to use it, we would have to resize it. Um, if you do want to look at this stuff, there's a utility called convert. Um, and that's, that's off the screen. Let's see if there's something useful on the top. It's, it's from a package called image magic. Here we go. So image magic.org and it's a command line utility and it lets you very easily translate between WebP and JPEG and PNG. And it lets you you know, um, convert from a, a JPEG and turn the white color transparent into a, a PNG. These these are sort of useful things if you want low-level image hacking. But again, for this class, hopefully most of what we can do uh, <laughs> will be to pet our cat, will be to um, use these, these vector drawables. Okay, and uh, I think... That's, that's, that's all for now. And just a quick follow-up, uh, if we build everything. So first of all, uh, it is API 21 and above that allows vector graphics. So if we build stuff, you can see here's our hamburger icon. And we're going to get into what's actually going on here. That's our search icon. This is our settings icon. And, you know, we change that to be red. These are all displayed up here, and we'll, we'll get into all this in class. But for now, I just wanted to see you uh, walk you through how to get these uh, vector assets, most of which you then deal with in layout. But here, for one of them, we're actually s uh, specifying what icon, navigation icon we want. This is the uh, menu, this menu black uh, icon, which is the hamburger icon search black uh, obviously I, I could have renamed it red because I turned it red but you get the point um, 